we were demonized uh, quite publicly by you know, high profile members of the clergy and people saying these people are monsters. And I'm like, have you not read it or do you not care or are you no longer mm. on our side? Corrective rape, electrocution, these things are already legal. Illegal. Because they are, yeah, yeah. because they, we think they are abhorrent and they're wrong. So they're against the law already. So this, first of all, this idea of conversion therapy doesn't make much sense unless you look at the wider picture and what they're including in there is therapy and prayer. And they say, well, you know, we don't want people to be coerced into changing their life. But what this actually does in practice is it prevents people reaching out for support. If you're looking to go to church and ask for people to pray for you because of your lifestyle or situations, mm -hmm. people will be reticent about doing so because, again, it could be in breach of this law. So what we're doing is we're shutting down people's support structures mm -hmm. and we're, we're actually harming, quite objectively, people through this legislation. It's taking away parents' responsibilities and rights, uh, which go hand in hand, and it's replacing them with the state. It's taking the child out of parents' arms and putting them in the arms of the state. That's what it's doing in saying that parents cannot pass their values on to children because those values might be inappropriate mm -hmm. for, for the given age of 2022. The state knows best what values should be given to children. And that's what we're seeing in schools, in education. That's what we're seeing in this legislation. It is fundamentally breaking down the family units. And this is the result of long-term in infrastructure being taken over by neo-Marxists. People don't get it. It's because we've lost all nuance. Nothing is nuanced anymore. Everything is just hyperbole. And you know, they paint these things in a virtue signaling wrapper. So of course, of course everyone wants to be against forced conversion therapy. Mm -hmm. Of course people mm -hmm. want to be against the idea of forcing homosexual people to become straight or transgender people to get in line with their actual gender. Of course, that sounds like a good thing that everyone should back. But when you break it down and look what the legislation is actually promoting, it's not that. But what's been, what I found disappointing is that the vast majority of the church, the establishment has been in support of this. You know, I signed one of these petitions against conversion therapy uh, bill thinking this, of course, you know, this is something the church should take a stand obvious, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, we were, we were demonized uh, quite publicly by you know, high profile members of the clergy and people saying these people are monsters. And I'm like, have you not read it or do you not care or are you no longer mm. on our side? I don't know what's going on here. It's been a massive surprise to me.